Pre-calc, pre-calc, pre-calc. Watch this after Friday's class. So this is the weekend edition. Sometime before Monday, peer into this video. And this is, we're going to take a left turn and actually review. And this is for the final. And um, Alex is taking the final on Friday, a week from today. Well, you're viewing this, perhaps you're viewing this. So this is a Friday, a week from this day. So everyone will benefit from review. So I'm going to review for four days and that will get um, uh, that will get Alex ready. Now after that review, everyone else, we have one more topic to go over together besides those I've already presented and then we'll be back in review. So, alright, so this review will work like this. I will do a problem and when you come into class you will have a problem just like it with different numbers but very close. So write every one of these down so that you'll be able to do the practice problems when you get in to class. So the first one is log to the base 3 of 81. Remembering what a log is, a log is an exponent and it's saying what exponent do I give this number to get this number. So I'm thinking like this, 3 raised to the what? gives me 81. Well 3 times 3, which is 3 to the 2, is 9. 3 times 3 times 3, which is 3 to the 3, is 27. So you can probably see 3 to the 4 is 81. So we say log to the base 3 of 81 is 4. It is the exponent. A log is just an exponent, and it's the exponent I give this number to get that one. All right, so with understanding logarithms, let's see if you can simplify this expression. All right, so when there's no base number written like there was in this one, and it says ln, we know the base. Do you recall it? it is e, base e. So looking at this part only, it says what exponent do I give e to get e to the third? So e raised to what equals e to the third? Well the answer is looking right at staring us in the face, so this must be a 3. So this whole, not, this whole boxed area what exponent do I give e to get e to the third is simply a 3. So all of this is a 3, so 4 times 3 equals 12. Final answer. Final answer here, final answer here. Alright, so third one, write these down. Alright, this time we have to remember that we can rewrite the square root symbol with an exponent. So 7 to the what? Square root can be written as the exponent 1 half. So now just looking in this right here, what exponent do I give 7 to get 7 to the 1 half? It's just 1 half and then we have the times 2, 2 times 1 half, 2 halves or 1. Alright, on the next one, and uh, this one is log of the base 5 of 321. Alright, let's get that in sight there. Log to the base 5, let me make that look more like a base log to the base 5 of 321 equals. Alright, so on this one it turns out that there is no number that is whole because 5 
to the 3 is like 125 and 5 to the 4 is like 625. So there was no number with a whole number that gives me 321 when I raise 5 to it. So we're going to have to recall how to get this out of our calculator, but there's no base 5 on most of our calculators. So we learned that, and we proved why this was true, but I'm just going to go on what we do tonight. So log of the upper number, I call this the upper number, over log of the lower number. And you don't have to use an LOG, but you can. So notice this was base 5, and I'm using base unwritten here, it's base 10, and our calculator does do those. Or I could use LN, and I will still get the correct answer. When I did that, I plugged that in the calculator, I got 3.59. So, alright, let's look at this one.